Alright, hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to combine these two excellent programs together. So, we just made a video, and I called it High Definition Video. It came out 483 max, and it's just about 1 minute and 50 seconds. Well, what I want to do is to go to this software. You just launch it, just like this. And what you want to do, you just kind of drag and drop. That's pretty much it. Then, if you are looking forward to upload this video on YouTube, my personal recommendation is QuickTime. But also you may use WMV and device preset. You can come up with different qualities. So it's either you have Zoom, which is the similar similar looking thing as iPhone. You may use it for website, a little bit higher quality. Or, in my case, I use Xbox 360. It will actually reduce amount of megabytes, and of course it will reduce, highly reduce, the quality of the video. As I said before, I stick with QuickTime and I go for very high quality. I've tried this too, but this one is the best one. Next thing you do, that's pretty much your setups. Everything by default, you don't have to go crazy and set up all this little stuff, crop it somehow. Just keep it as is and just click convert. The new window appears and it will just go through this process. And while we wait, I want to show you setups of my cam studio quickly. So the options that I use for video option, I use quality of 100%, I keep it as Microsoft Video 1, and of course quality ratio is 1. Region is a very important thing, because as I said before in my first video, that you may do a full screen, you're not get you're not gonna get much of a high quality unless you have very good video card and your setups are significantly higher than average user. I use fixed region and this is just a part of my screen over here. And I do have a microphone. So this is for the cam studio. Okay. Press any key. And we get another video, which is called the same th our original video, but the difference is if you look through the properties in details, we'll notice a difference. That our clone clone video is just 10 frames a second and our original video is 200 frames per second. The beat rate got decreased comparing to 705. And that's what the software does. Now let me show you what is the difference in megabytes. We had 483 megs and we shrinked our video down to only 5.6. This is a very decent size. Size of the video. And that's it. And here's the video that I made. As you see, it looks full. You can really see everything clearly. So please be my and use the same stuffs. Thank you.